if you're just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. Camden police say a standoff is over and a robbery suspect is dead after he shot himself at a Rite Aid pharmacy. Robert Berman allegedly took one person hostage during a robbery attempt, but let them go around midnight. Police say they tried to get Berman to negotiate before sending in a SWAT team. Breaking news in Portland this morning. Firefighters on the scene of a three alarm fire on Deering Avenue. Let's get right out to News 8's Norm Carcos, who is live on the scene. Good morning, Norm. Good morning, Megan. That three alarm blaze has been put out. It's been knocked down under control right now. Everyone made it out of the building safely. There were no injuries. That's the good news. Portland Fire Department getting the call here at 40 Deering Avenue in the corner of uh, Deering and Grant Street around 5.06 this morning. Uh, it's a multi unit apartment, three stories high. Uh, firefighters say that the fire Fire began in the back and impacted all three floors. The difficult part was that the roof collapsed and into the attic, so firefighters were working to put out the blaze. The fire was actually shooting through the roof when we first got here and up to about 20 minutes ago, but right now it's under control. Several ladders are still there working on some hot spots, but again, the, the bottom line is the fire has been knocked down. It's under control and there are no injuries to report. We, of course, will have much more on this coming up tonight on News 8 at 5 and 6 at our website at WMTW.com. Right Right now, just a quick traffic alert. Uh, Deering Avenue, which is where we are, Deering Avenue and Park Avenue, that's the lay of the land here. That's going to be closed for at least uh, probably a few more hours right now. So if that takes you to your morning commute, you'll have to find an alternate route there. Live here in Portland, Norm Carcos, WMTW News 8. Thank you, Norm. Maine parents and teachers will begin meetings today working to improve learning standards for students. The 24 member panel will determine benchmarks for students in mathematics and English language arts. Maine adopted the Common Core Standards back in 2011. The department is seeking public input until October 1st. President Obama heading to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta today, where public health officials will brief him on Enterovirus D68 today. It has sent hundreds of children in the Midwest to hospitals, and now the state CDC suspects one child here in Maine may be affected. The state has sent out samples to be tested. Also, the president will discuss the deadly Ebola virus. The White House says the U.S. is sending 3,000 American troops to West Africa. To help stop the spread of that outbreak, they will provide medical and logistical support. The virus has already killed more than 2,000 people in West Africa. In Washington today, President Obama will be meeting with General John Allen, who is now coordinating a global coalition to fight ISIS. Meanwhile, Congress is rushing to authorize arming and training Syrian rebels to fight the terror group on the ground. They could vote as soon as tomorrow on that. A dozen major wildfires tearing across California this morning, fueled by powerful winds and stifling heat. The newest fire broke out near the Oregon border, forcing half of one town to evacuate and torching every home in its path. In all, 6,000 firefighters are on the front lines across that state. And the Mexican government is sending military and commercial planes to move out thousands of tourists stranded by Hurricane Odile. Odeal damaged everything from huts to hotels, leaving some areas without power or drinking water. Matt. 